All right, everybody, I'm just going to show you real quick my run on the fifth level of the Aperion Sadness. Um, pretty much I just used all the explosives I had, so you would have had to have uh, got the level 20 Mastery in Paris to get uh, one of the um, mines that I use. Also, you'll need the, the Pale Duck. Um, and then I also grabbed the Proximity Mine as well. Um, as you'll see so basically you have to kill three people with explosions uh, not killing any civilians and uh, not changing your clothes so um, it was actually once I found my niche for doing it it was pretty easy so I'm starting in the safe house um, grab the golf ball here just in case I need an extra explosive and uh, as you'll see, it turns out that I do. So, uh, it's pretty straightforward, as you'll see. This is pretty much how I have done all the uh, prior levels of this escalation. So, get my pale duck out, throw it over here. I didn't really concern myself too much with uh, not killing any other guards because that would just add a whole other level of difficulty to it. So. I love, I love watching those bodies fly like that. So there was the use of the pale duck. Now I'm going to pull out the other uh, remote detonation explosive. Second target's just on that ledge there. Toss it up. And blow it up. And up to this point, um, that was it. And if you're on, you know, level 3 or 4 or whatever it is when they add the second dude. You can pretty much just jump down and escape in the car right around the corner. But for the fifth, they add the security guard that's down by the beach. Now this is actually, believe it or not, my first run on the fifth level. Um, I just assumed because it was one of those security guards and I had never seen any of them in the mansion that he would be down here because this seems to be where they all hung out and sure enough um, he was right where I thought he'd be trying to think do I go up on the balcony do, you know do I go get a coin what am I gonna do here because at this point all I have left is that proximity and the golf ball so I was thinking about getting a coin then I was like you know what let's just let's just say fuck it and throw it and see what happens so you'll see once I throw it that both of them have the question mark over their head so it seems like it's about 50 50 of which one of the two guards will go and investigate And it was my luck that the other guy went. Of course, right? Was he close enough? No. Damn it. Alright, so I'm like, well, shit. Um, I still have the golf ball, right? And I've never tried this before. This is the first time I tried throwing the golf ball. But I figured, hey, it can't hurt to try. <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty ridiculous. As you'll see here in a moment. I didn't want to miss him. I don't want to throw it between his legs, and I'm like, uh, oh, that looks good. <laughs> and then, of course, this guard's right here, and I'm like, oh, shit. All right, well, uh, can I go through this door real quick? Nope, I'm just going to run. So I pretty much just run to the boat and get out. So uh, pretty quick little run, just about five minutes. Um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the ragdoll explosion physics.
and uh, stay tuned for more Hitman videos.